Hello, beautiful friends. It's Crystal Rose Insights here to do the May 2018 reading for Taurus. Um, I want to say a huge shout out and thank you and appreciation to every single one of you that are here on my channel, watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing all that good stuff. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You really do hold the beautiful space for this channel to be one of empowerment and positivity. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you that have been doing private readings with me, um, my regular clients, my new clients, as well as those who do live guidance sessions with me, I have to say I have just been so amazed at the progress you've been making in your growth, in, in who you are and how who you're becoming. It's just an honor to be part of this process with you, to watch you truly transform and to do the work. You know, this is about all, all the kudos goes to you for doing all this work on you and, and bringing more and more of what you want into your life. So huge shout out for you guys. Um, if you would like a private reading, all the information's down below or a guidance session. Um, heads up my pricing and my structure of my readings is going to be changing a little bit as of May 1st. So, um, I know that's not enough notice here. I've been announcing it on my channel, but, um, for the last couple weeks, but in case, um, if you want to book it before May 1st then the old pricing and old structure will still apply, it's probably not going to change too dramatically, but I'm, I am needing to change things up in terms of, the timing, my turnaround time and all that because things have been shifting and evolving as they always do. So um, with that, we're going to get started. We're going to take a look at what's going on with Taurus for May. Happy birthday, by the way. Super beautiful. I love this time of year. Springtime in, in, in the Northern Hemisphere anyway. Um, uh, so this is a green calcite here to support the energy of the month. This is an emotionally calming and, um, and healing stone. It's a stone to help improve intimate relationships, family relationships, emotional wounds, and it's a beautiful calming stone. I love green calcite. I have several pieces of it. So if you want to look up the metaphysical properties of green calcite, you might get some messages in there. So we're going to take a look, generally speaking, this is general, so take whatever reading, whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. We're going to take a look at what's going on generally for Taurus this month. We're going to take a look at what's going on with abundance and finances and career. We're going to look at love a little bit. We're going to look at some advice. We're going to look at what's important to release. So let's see what's happening with Taurus. And we're getting the judgment, the knight of pentacles, and the ace of wands. At the bottom of the deck, we get the Queen of Swords. So some of you are having to make decisions objectively. There might be something going on in your life where, you know, you're wanting to make a decision, needing to make a decision. Um, it could also be the energy of not being involved in any drama. So if there's drama going on around you, this is about taking that objective side of just kind of staying out of it. The Queen of Swords is no drama, but she is very decisive. She's very independent. She's very realistic. She doesn't get overly emotional. So if there's something going on for you this month that's asking you to um, call on that energy, that's what's happening here. So there might be something that's important to be making a, a decision about here this month because we also have the Judgment card and the judgment card here is really this energy of renewal and, and kind of taking a look and an inventory of your life. Like, am I living the way I want to be living? Am I, am I being the person that I know I am deep inside or am I letting my fears get in the way and am, and am I showing up the way that I want to behave? So there's something happening around you or just recently having happened where it's like something's calling you to task. Okay. Um, and again, this is general, so it could mean a lot of different things for for um, all of you watching. It could be something in your personal life. It could be something in your career. Um, but we will see here what else is coming through. So we're also getting the Knight of Pentacles. So there's something in your life that you're starting to move forward on. Um, this could be career. This could be a long-term relationship partnership. Um, but there is something that you're wanting to proceed forward with. You're not going to be rushing ahead. Um, this is about taking it, you know, being very decisive, very realistic. You're not like galloping ahead. You're being very thoughtful about it, but you are moving something forward. Um, and it does, it's, it's it, because you're moving it forward, which is going to be something new. It's going to be something passionate and exciting. You're going to be taking action. Now the Ace of Wands could be a new vent, a new business venture, a new endeavor. It could be a new relationship. 
Um, it could mean a variety of things, but it feels like there's been some sort of energy here where you've been contemplating life and you've been contemplating like what really matters to me and what do I want and all of that. And you're making these decisions and there is something you're going to be moving through, moving, starting to move towards in the physical that will bring this brand new, you know, passionate, exciting new endeavor going for you. So um, it, it does feel like you've kind of moved out of this uh, more spiritual, reflective, contemplative time, which actually makes sense because we did just have the retrograde, the Mercury retrograde, and um, I can't remember the other planet that's been in retrograde. I'm not an astrolog astrologist, but um, it do that is the energy of taking pause, taking inventory, taking reflection. So there's been something big in your life, that I feel like, Taurus, that, is, that, you've, that you've made some sort of decision on. And you've done it, you know, logically and carefully. So, interesting. Let's see what's going on for you for abundance. So, abundance, guys. This can be um, financial abundance, of course. But abundance to me is beyond financial. It could be an abundance of happiness. It could be abundance of free time. An abundance of laughter. An abundance of hugs. Whatever abundance means for you. And again, this is general. It'll be a, a different for everybody. But let's see what's happening uh, what is Taurus going to be specifically abundant about? Or what's a message about Taurus's abundance in May, please? And we're getting release jealousy. So it says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. So let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So this is like, this is right underneath this judgment card. So I, I am getting drawn to this because I do feel like this is what you've been working through. It's like, am I showing up? Am I being petty? Am I being, where am I being kind of, I'm, say, I'm hearing childish, but I don't want to say that, but I have to say it because that's what spirit's giving me. But it's like, what is it? And this, where in your life were you getting triggered to feel jealous and like wondering why someone else has it and why you don't? And it's, and that's natural and normal to some degree because it's what makes us realize something that we need to work on and work through. So the abundance is going to come for you um, in letting go of whatever this self-reflection has been. Maybe you're just realizing how you, you know, maybe you have been acting jealous or if you're not acting jealous, if you're feeling it, it's just as bad. It doesn't even matter if you're, you know, showing the behavior on the outside. If that energy is internal to you, it's going to um, bring more and more reasons for you to be jealous until you just let that go. So that's interesting because when you release that energy of jealousy or resentment um, and you start celebrating the wins and the successes of other people around you, even if they're your quote unquote competitors, which I don't believe there's competitors truly because I think the universe is abundant. And, um, you know, some of the people I collaborate with the most are the ones that do what I do, but we do it together with the spirit of like, together, we're going to achieve so much more. Like it's not a competition. I love supporting other readers online. Like I'm in touch with them. We work healing each other. It's just so beautiful because that's, it's really what it's about. So remember the energy you give towards jealousy is taking away from your manifesting ability. All right, so let's see what um, Taurus has to surrender, let go of. What is the theme of what Taurus must surrender this month? Because this is where what do we need to let go of. We are hearing jealousy here, but let's see what else Taurus needs to surrender in May. Let me get surrender your, there it is. Oh my gosh. So this is something related. So many of you guys, you may be, you know, entrepreneurs, um, solopreneur, starting a side gig, something like that. And maybe you've been trying to get it off the ground for a long time. Um, and you've been kind of frustrated. You've been stagnating something going on there, but it says the universe is asking you to open up to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So this is about letting go of scarcity, poverty mentality, uh, competition, things that are based in fear, because there's a, this is a, the theme of releasing things that are based in fear. And of course, this is what we all do, but especially for you this month, Taurus, there's something going on that this is about you really, you know, believing you can have it, believing that you can have success and that there's enough for everybody and that you can be abundant beyond your wildest dreams and it can happen like that the moment you shift that energy. I've seen it happen. <laughs> I've had it happen to me where it's just like literally overnight, it just changes. 
but it's an energetic change first. So let's see what's going on for you for love this month, Taurus. And we're getting attraction. This is beautiful. So this is saying, this is about being in the present moment, in love, around you, whether you're in relationship, you're single, or you're wanting a relationship, whatever it is, this is saying in your love life, remember to be present in the moment. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Enjoy what you have around you right now. Um, because this is the attraction. This is the law of attraction or the law of vibration. It's a universal principle. So this woman here, she's smelling this beautiful rose and her eyes are closed. And the only thing she's thinking of in that moment is how beautiful that rose smells. She's not worried about what's happening yesterday. She's not worrying about picking up the kids later. She's literally just enjoying that moment. So... Taurus, whatever's going on for you in love this month, remember to just enjoy what you have in the moment and appreciate and have gratitude for that, no matter what form it is. Release expectations, um, release frustrations, and just, you know, look at what is and what you have and look for the good in it, whatever that may be. And sometimes it's hard, I know. But let's see what advice Michael has for you for May. What's your best advice for Taurus for May? And we get go forward fearlessly. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So whatever you guys are contemplating starting, like Michael's saying, freaking go for it. He's saying he's going to be walking with you every step of the way. He's going to be giving you confidence, courage, helping to guide your thoughts and actions in the, not only the direction of love, and the energy of love and abundance and a lack of fear. Basically, like I was saying, let go of this fear and step into love energy. And it's going to be going towards your life's purpose. Okay, wow, that's awesome. All right, guys, so what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually, if you want, um, I'm doing all the love readings for this month over on my Vimeo channel. So um, if you want to get a love reading for the month, those are going to all be over there. The information is going to be down below. And please do check also your uh, rising and your moon signs for these general readings because sometimes you can get um, additional messages there. So uh, And also if you want a private reading, that's the way to get the most specific messages for you. Please do reach out. would love to support you and, um, and help you along your path. So, all right, Taurus, great month ahead. I am like, I'm dying to know. Please let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you because I want to hear what you guys, I feel like you got some of you guys are doing something really big and it's very exciting. All right, Taurus, um, until next month and abundant love always. Bye.